I'm looking for some people who's looking for peace. Maybe together we could make the war cease. Now we can send mankind to the moon. And we can reach to the bottom of the sea. That's why it's really kind of baffles me. That we cannot end wars and bring peace. And we cannot change the way people act. And we cannot change the way people think. So if we sit back, chill out and relax, civilization will soon be extinct. That's why I am. สวัสดีค่ะเมื่อกลางปีที่แล้วสุดานใต้แยกตัวออกจากประเทศสุดานนะคะทำให้กลายเป็นประเทศน้องใหม่ล่าสุดของโลกแต่ว่าความขัดแย้งระหว่างสุดานกับสุดานใต้ก็ยังไม่หมดไปเพราะว่าผลประโยชน์เรื่องของน้ำมันรวมทั้งการแบ่งเขตแดนยังไม่ลงตัวเท่าที่ควรแต่ว่าย้อนกลับไปสำหรับสุดานประเทศนี้ผ่านสงครามกลางเมืองมายาวนานนะคะ22ปีตั้งแต่ปีคศ1983ถึงปี2005คาดว่ามีคนเสียชีวิตจากเหตุการณ์นี้ไปประมาณ1ล้าน5แสนคนและมีอีก5ล้านคนที่จะต้องหนีอบพยพสงครามค่ะและหนึ่งในวิธีการที่กลุ่มต่างๆใช้เพื่อที่จะเสริมทัพตัวเองก็คือทหารเด็กและหนึ่งในทหารเด็กนั้นก็คืออิมมานูเอลจาวปัจจุบันนะคะเขาเป็นนักร้องฮิปฮอปชื่อดังของโลกเดินทางไปทั่วโลกค่ะรวมถึงการเรียกร้องสันติภาพให้เกิดในบ้านเกิดของเขาด้วยแต่ว่าย้อนกลับไปในอดีตเขาถือปืนอาก้าตั้งแต่6 7ขวบนะคะชีวิตเขาน่าทึ่งมากค่ะเพราะว่าถึงแม้ว่าจะผ่านความโหดร้ายมายาวนานเขาบอกนะคะว่าบางคืนยังฝันร้ายอยู่เลยกับเหตุการณ์ที่เกิดขึ้นในอดีตแต่มาวันนี้เขาก็ยังคิดดีคิดบวกและคิดที่จะช่วยเหลือสังคมค่ะ Were you in South Sudan last year when they declared independence? Actually, I was in Kenya, so I happened to miss a plane that would take, to take me to the celebration. But did you vote for it? Yeah, I voted. I voted. Mm -hmm. But the situation now between Sudan and South Sudan doesn't look very good at all. As you could see, basically, it's the oil. You know, 75% of the oil has gone to South Sudan. And a lot of the areas that's uh, cartoon uh, coal belong to the north are actually areas from the people in the south because it's the Dinka tribe's uh, territories. But because there's oils in those areas, so they still want to claim it to be the north because everything is with the south. But it's because of the wrong policies they had in place because South Sudan was telling them, let's all be equal, mm -hmm. uh, equal religion, Uh, all the re religions should be treated equally, and all human beings should be the same. So, and some people behind the policies didn't want to do that, and so South Sudan decided to have their own government. When I hear news about Sudan and South Sudan as well, I hear religious conflicts, ethnic conflicts, political conflicts as well. What is the root cause of all of these problems? The root cause is 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 food. It's It's the land, it's the oil, it's the gold, it's uh, human resources like f almost free labor, which was slavery. So religion was used as a tool to spread an ideology and they used that to extend the empathy to people who have accepted that faith. Sudan has been made into an Arabic state and Islamic state. Mm -hmm. So they tend to favor people who are Arabs and Muslims. So there's the way they grade the system. So a first class citizen would be an Arab Muslim. And then any Arab Muslim from any nation probably is much going to be treated better than an African Muslim. For example, if we have a dispute at the shop uh, with a foreigner who's an Arab and a Muslim, even though I'm right, they'll be, they'll be told they're right and I go to jail. And so those are the things that are not in the constitution, but that's how the system is working. That's what created a lot of conflict, and that's why South Sudan rebelled. And for 50 years, they've been trying to crush South Sudan for standing on and saying, you have to change the policy. We have to be the same. And so they've insisted and refused to change those policies, and they want Sudan now to be 
still Islamic and Arabic state, and South Sudan decided to say we are going to be a free state. สาธารณรัฐสุดานใต้ได้แยกตัวออกจากสุดานหลังผ่านการทำประชามติมีชาวสุดานใต้เห็นชอบเกือบร้อยละ99และประกาศเอกราชเมื่อวันที่9มกราคม2554สมัชชาใหญ่แห่งสาประชาชาติได้ลงมติรับรองสาธารณรัฐสุดานใต้เป็นสมาชิกสาประชาชาติลำดับที่193เมื่อวันที่14กรกฎาคม2554มีประชากรราว8ล้านคนเศรษฐกิจส่วนใหญ่เป็นแบบชนบทและพึ่งพาเกษตรกรรมเพื่อยำชีพเป็นหลัก So things should be better for South Sudan now that it has separated from Sudan. South Sudan is in much better situation it is than 10 years ago. The conflicts we have are minor. The number of the people dying are less compared to before. 2.5 million people died during that time. Some died of starvation. But the tribal conflicts that are existing, some of them were fueled during the war by the Khartoum government because what they want is to create conflict so South Sudan does not exist. But at the moment what they're trying to do is recruit militias that can capture the oil areas and then they can sign a deal with them. So the militias get the, the, the money, then the oil is pumped so they look like a coup has happened and so it will be difficult to remove those militias. And so in reality what is the battle is the oil. And the people, the, the people themselves, the normal civilians, want peace, both in North and South. So you find at the political level, it's the government and few individuals that are benefiting out of the conflicts mm -hmm. are the ones which are clenching into power or creating ideologies to, to get the poor to go to the battlefields.